Hello, Jeff Sorer, side me. How are you, Jeff? How do you like Malta? Malta's great, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's great. Tell me, Jeff, uh, you are from Canada? Uh, well, quite a few places, but I was born and spent a lot of time in my childhood in Canada. Yeah. How, how big is poker in Canada? I don't have any idea. Well, it's huge. We have a lot of great ambassadors for the game, like Daniel Negrano and many other people. Um, it's about as big as it is in the States, which is huge. Okay. I guess it hit the, the wave in Europe was a little bit later, but it was huge in Canada even many years ago. Nice. You dropped out from the main event here in uh, Malta. Yeah. Sorry, sorry for that. It's but okay. you did a really good job in the side events. Tell me more. Well, I won the side events. That was nice. Congratulations. Thanks. thanks. Um, yeah, the side events are fun. Main event, it would be nice if I had a little bit of luck going my way there, but nothing but, I can do. Yeah, but you know, you know you're playing for a very short time. You, about nine months, something like that? Yeah, yeah, my first tournament was uh, back in EPT Prague last right. December. T tell me what's, you know, what's making you such a good player if you're playing such a short time? Uh, I don't know about good player, but um, I generally like to uh, get a lot of reads at the table. I love playing live poker a lot because I um, can kind of get a lot of information. People give a lot away a lot. So. Perfect. And uh, what are you doing if you're not playing poker? Do you see yourself in the future like full-time poker player? or? I see myself as a guy who loves poker. I love chess, of course. I come from a chess background. Okay. And um, I love games in general. Anything that uses your mind and, uh, and you know, where you can exercise and try and think about different things. It's good. So I, I'll, I'll keep playing poker for years, of course. I love the game. Perfect. Yeah. Do you think that the chess helped you somehow in... Uh... Yeah, well, poker and chess to me are very similar. At least uh, in, you know, the way I play chess yeah. and poker, it's, it's very similar. I play the person, not the board as much. And in chess, that was always funny because the traditional school of thought was always how, you know, you should just play the position. But people are, are human beings, so you can always use that and find people's rhythms and patterns, much yeah. like sports. And so poker and chess have a lot in common for me, at least. Yeah, I don't know, you know, I don't play chess. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? I heard about your new nickname. Yeah? Yes. What? What's my name? <laughs> Jeff Quickie. Tell me more. What? Why is it like that? I, I guess, um, <laughs> well, probably because I like to do things fast a lot of the time. I'm yeah, sure. yeah, no, that's what, what your friends explain, so good. I, I generally, I, I move quickly on my thoughts and ideas, probably. I guess that's why. That's great. Yeah. Thank you so much for interview. <laughs>